Hi, I'm Anna from Goa Antiquaria, and today we're going to talk about fish. Well, more precisely, about the shapes of fish. So, if I was to ask you to draw a fish, you might come up with something shaped a little like my drawing here. Oh, sorry, that's the rough draft. Let me get the final draft for you. As I was saying, you may have come up with something like this. We have a torpedo-shaped body with a mouth, gills, fins and eyes. Many fish look like this one. For example, our sea bass here fits the description perfectly. European sea bass have two dorsal fins on their backs. The one closest to its head has nine sharp spines and is known as the spiny dorsal fin, which only pops up really when the sea bass is moving in the water. The second dorsal fin is called the soft dorsal fin, and this is slightly longer with 13 spines. Sea bass are predators, and so they prey on smaller fish and crustaceans. Their tongue actually is covered in tiny teeth to help them ingest their prey. You can see them feeding here. Swimming in the background there is Eddie, our Atlantic wreckfish, a relative of the sea bass. He has one single long dorsal fin, which looks like two separate fins, but they're actually connected where the spiny front section dips and connects to the soft dorsal fin. Eddie has many of the same features as our sea bass, only larger. So larger mouth, larger fins, larger appetite. And he's coming for us. Oh, let's look at something different. Rays are cartilaginous fish, so you could say they're like flattened sharks. Rays are diamond shaped with a long tail. Their pectoral fins are very wide, which look and act a lot like wings, and this helps them to swim. Thornback rays got their names from those thorns-like spines which run down the length of their tail. A ray's eyes are on the top of its head, and their mouths are on the underside, so they can pounce on their food on the sea floor. Those little dark spots that look a lot like little eyes in this picture just above its mouth are actually its nostrils. It's feeding time again. Here you can clearly see our baby thorn backpack. Oh, sorry, I'll try that again. Here you can clearly see our baby thornback ray pouncing on some, oh, wait, wait, that's not yours. Oh, fine. <sighs> Cut. The last animal we'll have a look at is one of my favorites, the red mullet. This is a slim fish with a steep blunt head and a flat underside. Like the sea bass, it has two dorsal fins. Despite its name, the red mullet is actually only distantly related to the grey mullet, which you can also see swimming around here. Yes, I'm talking about you. Please try and act natural while I'm filming. Red mullet belongs to a species called goatfish. Goatfish are generally characterised by their chin barbels, which you can see here just below its mouth. They are very sensitive and contain chemosensory cells, which help them find their food of small animals buried in the sand. Red mullet are usually found swimming along the seabed, rooting around for food, just like this one. Like our thornback ray, the red mullet's mouth also face downwards so they can catch their prey efficiently. We hope you enjoyed learning with us. Thanks for watching.